Savis, formerly SVVS on NASDAQ and formerly known as Savis Communications Corporation, and, later, Savis Incorporated, is a subsidiary of CenturyLink, a company headquartered in Monroe, Louisiana. The company sells managed hosting and co-location services with more than 50 data centers in North America, Europe, and Asia, automated management and provisioning systems, and information technology consulting. Savis has approximately 2,500 unique business and government customers. Early history, Savis was founded in November 1995 under the name Diamond Net by CTO COO Timothy Munro Roberts and CEO Andrew Gladney. The two had met in the St. Louis area in 1994 where both lived, with Roberts working for a computer store and Gladney a customer. Gladney put up the initial capital for a 75% stake in the startup, with Roberts a Euro unregistered trademark stake the remaining 25%. Gary Zimmerman, recruited by Roberts from SBC Communications Incorporated to become Vice President of Engineering at Savis in November 1995, built out Robert's first national network design. The original network design was unique within the industry at the time it became fully operational, and there was significant coverage and discussion in the trade press regarding both the network and its architect, Robert's. In 2001, the last year in which Robert's original design was in use, Savis was ranked the number one fastest backbone network by Keynote Systems, an independent network rating service. Roberts closed a revenue contract with Apple Computer, incorporated as their first large customer, dealing with David Zimmerman and Marty Suzuki at Apple's Cupertino headquarters. By leveraging the Apple Computer customer reference and testimonials, the company was able to close additional large contracts with other industry providers, and it quickly gained wide industry recognition. During this growth spurt, the company attracted the notice of St. Louis Gateway Venture Partners who subsequently invested millions of dollars. After the Gateway investment, Sam Sanderson, former CEO of Rogers Cable, was brought to helm the company. Sanderson brought much-needed support to the company, closing substantial contracts and placing the company into an aggressive marketing position. Contemporaneously, Bob Murphy was named to the chief financial officer position. Murphy in turn attracted additional capital, and a sound financial management team. Diamond Net becomes Savis. In 1996, Diamond Net changed its name to Savis Communications Corporation. Founders part with Savis. In 1997, Roberts left the company, and Gladney left his position as CEO to become vice chairman. Gladney's relationship with Savis ended shortly thereafter in 1999. By the time of the company's IPO, Gladney's stake was 1% of the outstanding shares. Growth and Acquisitions In 1999 Savis was acquired by Bridge Information Systems. After a year as a bridge company, Savis was spun off by Bridge as a public company. Savis February 2000, initial public offering was listed on the Nasdaq Stock Exchange as SVVS. Since its IPO, Savis has grown both organically and through strategic acquisitions. In 2002, Savis purchased WAM. An ET, a content management and media application service, followed in 2003 by a purchase of the hosting operation and customers of Intel Online Services. In 2004 the company purchased the assets of Cable and Wireless America which included 15 data centers and the customers of Exodus Communications, the Tier 1 Internet backbone previously owned by MCI, the content delivery network from Digital Island and a significant professional services organization for $155 million in cash and assumed liabilities of approximately $12.5 million. Name change In 2005, Savis announced a change in its name from Savis Communications Corporation to Savis, Incorporated to reflect company expansion from network services to global IT services. Until January 21, 2014, Savis was referred to as Savis, a CenturyLink company, an autonomous managed hosting entity under the CenturyLink umbrella. In early 2014, the company name was changed to CenturyLink Technology Solutions, in order to better align the Savis business unit and the CenturyLink parent company. Gartner Magic Quadrant 
Savis was well positioned in the Magic Quadrant for hosting published by Gartner. The Gartner Report commented on Savis for its range of quality services. In particular, Gartner noted that Savis had an above-average customer portal and strong history of delivering utility offerings. Content Delivery Network Divestitures, in 2006, Savis announced that Level 3 Communications would acquire Sabiza Euro unregistered trademark content delivery network services business for $135 million. The deal included network assets, customer contracts and intellectual property used in Sabiza Euro unregistered trademark CDN business. Expanding EMEA presence, in 2007, Savis opened a data center in Singapore, increasing its presence in the Asia-Pacific region. The following year, it opened a new data center in London, increasing its services in Europe. Acquisition of FusePoint In June 2010, Savis acquired Canadian technology firm FusePoint, including data centers in Toronto, Montreal and Vancouver. Recovery In January 2011, Savis was positioned in the leaders' quadrant of the Magic Quadrant for cloud infrastructure as a service and web hosting by Gartner, an IT research and advisory firm. Savis is positioned alongside 19 other web hosting providers, including AT&T, Rackspace, Verizon Business, Terramark, and Sungard in the measurement of completeness of vision, and ability to execute. As well, the company launched its global, cloud-focused Savis Alliances program for channel partners. Savis also entered into partnership with Barty Airtel Limited to launch a major strategic managed hosting and cloud computing initiative in India. Acquisition by CenturyLink On April 27, 2011, telecommunications firm CenturyLink, Inc. and Savis reached an agreement whereby CenturyLink will acquire Savis through a buyout of outstanding common shares in cash and stocks, for approximately $2.5 billion USD. This valued Savis at $40 per share, which represented an 11% premium over Savisa Euro unregistered trademark closing price on April 26, 2011. Under the agreement, Savis shareholders are to receive $30 per share in cash and $10 in shares of CenturyLink common stock. In September 2011, Savis announced facility expansions in existing markets including Atlanta, Boston, and Toronto as well as the opening of two new data centers in Seattle and Piscataway, New Jersey. This adds 100,000 square feet of raised data center floor space in the five cities, bringing the total sellable global footprint to 2 million square feet. Controversy, spam support allegations, on September 8, 2004, Savis Operations Security Manager, Alive Terrainson, left his position and went public with internal Savis documents, releasing them to media outlets including the BBC, The Register, and others. These documents disclosed that Savis was soliciting the business of spammers and that Savis was realizing between $200,000 to $2 million in per month from these customers. As a result of the negative media attention, Savis resumed business using Spamhorse to prevent and resolve customer spam issues. In a joint press release, Steve Lintford, CEO and founder of the Spamhorse project was quoted, Spamhorse has long recognized Savis as a white hat network with exemplary policies and procedures to control the proliferation of spam. We are pleased to work with Savis to fight against spam and encourage others in the industry to adopt their leadership model. American Express lawsuit, in October 2005, then CEO Robert McCormick and Savis were listed as defendants in a claim brought by American Express. The case involved charges made on McCormick's corporate American Express card that were reported to be $241,000 at a New York strip club, Scores. While McCormick asserted that the charges were fraudulent, Scores claimed to have fingerprints of McCormick's, used specifically to verify that his large charges were legitimate. In November 2005, after an investigation into the matter by the Audit Committee of the Board of Directors, Savis accepted McCormick's resignation. In March 2006, Savis announced that the litigation brought by American Express against Savis, McCormick and Scores had been resolved in a negotiated settlement. Suits over security audits In 2009, 
multiple lawsuits were filed against Savis alleging that Savis improperly certified as compliant with credit card security standards processes, which may have resulted in significant security breaches. An analysis of one complaint reported, according to a post-incident forensic analysis, at the time Savis issued the certification, card systems had been improperly and continuously storing unencrypted cardholder data. References External links, Official Website, Savis Canada, Savis UK, Savis Germany, Savis Japan, Savis Singapore, Savis Direct, article from the Riverfront Times on co-founder Gladney's 2008 sentencing for extortion, article from the St. Louis Business Journal on Gladney's sentencing.